Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the United Nations, where one of our allies here, or friends at least, has gone, gone to war with India. Um, so Korea has gone to war with India. We are, quote unquote, friends with them. Um, so we are kind of helping them along. Let's get rid of some of these notifications here. Oh, what's this going on here? Now Pakistan. So who are you at war with? You at war with just those two? Okay, so you're at war with India and Pakistan. Okay. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the game is going to be a little bit uh, better here. Save this real quick. Oh, we don't need the auto tilting. We're gonna quit out and then we're gonna reload here. I'm hoping that that gets the performance a lot better. So far, so no, so far, so good. For some reason, that looks a little blurry. But we're gonna have to see. Let's see the fastest. Now, can I actually capture territory on their behalf? I can. Okay, good. One too sure if I could. Now they have a port over here, right? They do. Uh, that's a bunch of my infantry units and stuff like that. How much of a military does... So India has a military at one point. Yeah, just over a million. Korea's got five million. Korea has the largest. Okay. Wow, then there's a steep drop off. I don't think Korea needs my help all that much. Supply turned on here. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't think India is really going to be an issue for Korea here. It's going to move up and. Do I have any amphibious units mixed in here? So I wouldn't mind taking that stuff up there right away. And I do not. I only have a small, small force. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell these guys to entrench there for the moment. Uh, research breakthroughs, that's stuff that we don't really get anything with. Those are those units that are now gone. Perfect. So everyone deployed should now be getting used. Um, 
Going through India proper is probably going to be difficult, so you know what? Let's do this. Let's help them out properly. Perfect. Uh, in, uh, entrenched there for me. Uh, you three go there. Yeah, I don't see this being actually much of a problem for us. Like, this isn't even a major force that we have here. And they're just chewing up these troops. Because of the uh, supply situation, I can't really capture much here. Right, there we go. So we got the, uh, I can't remember the name of this area, but... Basically, India now is kind of boned. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to order everyone to entrench right there. And then I'm going to split. One, two, three, four. Do 20 of you. You're going to entrench right there. There we go. I'm going to take one of you, and you're going to entrench. I'm going to take one, two, three, four. Entrench there. No, nope, still more. Uh, three, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take another six. There we go. Entrench there. And entrench there. And there we go. So now, theoretically, it's almost impossible, I say almost impossible, for Korea to lose this war. Yeah, there's a 100% chance that, you know, India does, like, a naval invasion and, like, pushes up through this way. Or something like that happens, but I am not... Wait, did some units... Oh, I... Hit the wrong button. Or did I auto-deploy? Uh, auto yeah. Soon we'll have our fleet set up, and we'll be pretty far advanced and or ahead of everybody else. So that's not a problem. Look here, real quick, and look and see. Yep, naval units. Yeah, you guys can actually reserve. Probably over here as well, right? Yep. Uh, actually, all of you guys, even the F4F Wildcats, can reserve. Because the aircraft, yeah, the aircraft should all be deployed now. Let's 
So the other ones will probably be back at our main island. That means zero, zero, perfect, okay. All of you, and say, hey, we're going to sea transport you. For the moment, actually, we're going to sea transport you to... Is that a port? Wait, how can you have a naval... You have a sea pier, but the sea pier isn't showing... Oh, no, it's right there. We're going to move down and actually capture the sea pier. Or maybe even wait till the... Uh, the Koreans capture it, possibly. More research done. We have the carriage transport and a few other things. Nothing too crazy. Unemployment still 2.7. How's our power situation? Okay, still really, really good. We're exporting quite a bit of it. Right now we're exporting 100% of our surplus, which is good. Only problem is that we're losing money on our trades here. Hmm. I'm actually going to take care of it and say, hey. Can I get to like 102? Yeah, 101% of, dem of demand. Oh, even at... Wait, what? What if I go down to 9% of... Uh... Wow, even 9% of domestic power production. 8%? So there's the estimated amount. It's 455. Still, no, eight percent of overall capacity. There's a lot of hydro that's just not doing much, but the plan is to hype up in, in uh, you know construction and things like that. So that's one of the main reasons why we did a lot of the, that building. The Koreans are just pushing in. Uh, yeah, I don't think they need our help. Like, at all. I mean, they are going to be one of the countries I have to go after later on. And did Myanmar just get, like, independent? Oh! Those are my engineers. Speaking of things, how can I do my, yeah, my engine, yeah, my research is still pretty meh. We're going to pause here real quick. Uh, what do we get? We get the Queen Bee fighter jet. Nice, but it cannot go on aircraft carriers, correct? Yeah, so it's still kind of meh to us. A naval nuclear reactors. We get the SSN-8 Walrus, theoretically, once we do the uh, air independent and naval nuclear reactors. Both of them. So we have to get both of those done. But we can get that very soon. Steam catapults. Any better guns? No. Military vessels? Ah, there we go with the, uh, the elephant. Modern sub prototypes. We don't get anything with that. Nothing there. Super carriers? We don't get anything. A lot of this stuff we're going to sell to our friends, the waste management. Nothing, but we get all this stuff here. Um, and I don't think we can actually build anything just yet. Oh no, we can build a Queen Bee already. Nice. Now, once we get a carrier-based fighter, that would be interesting, because we can throw them, theoretically, on... Is it the Kitty Hawks that we have right now? The York Talents. Theoretically, I believe. And the plan will be to... Fa once we have our fleets in place, the plan is just to phase out ships one at a time after that. Because I want to actually get a fleet, because right now, no one really has a fleet. We saw like the Chinese had like destroyer, turn of the century destroyers and things like that, so. We know we're out producing everybody, so we can be a little older for now, but later on we'll be way more advanced than everybody else. Once we actually have our own, you know, our own stuff. 
Uh, let's sell you some more tech here, Germany. Because I wanted you to get advanced. California. Now. Uruguay. Oh, and I think I can also turn back on line of sight now that I've changed the graphic settings in the game. Uh, line of sight treaty. We'll see how that works. Let's pause that for a split second. Um... here there was Korea we'll take those I'll give you eight billion why not and then Japan and then we'll give it a, like a five count have the treaty list necessary? Okay, that's kind of weird. Almost like this! And they have a naval port. What? We do not have the treaty list. Oh! I probably have to give you money for it. Oh, that's why. Because technically they have line of sight on me. I don't have line of sight on them anymore. Gotcha. That took a moment. Oh, then I lost all those money trades. Money trades! I mean, theoretically, I can break off all relations with them and do it all over again, but... Prototypes, yep, yep, yep. So instead of just lowering my graphic settings, I made this a little bit more difficult on myself. So for a billion there, that's not a bad deal if you guys accept that. Nine times out of ten, looks like they're just accepting no matter what. Uh, who's that just with? <laughs> that was with Korea. Now if I change your direction, will you be yeah, pathing a little bit better there? Okay, perfect. Um, will you path to there? 
You will. Okay. And we're going to keep these troops up here just as a defensive measure. But all the troops that land here, we're going to help push down the east coast of uh, India here. Though that does put us into border cahoots with one another. Which is going to be a little nervous. Pre-century cruiser, yeah. So, even though it's going to take our, our, our battle groups a little while to build, I'm not concerned with... Uh, with our navy when it comes to like actually what will happen hey we get the witch in the 190 millimeter what else do we have actually uh military good efficiency is plus two military efficiency there we go uh research efficiency kaboom so i'm gonna assume we're gonna engage we're engaging someone over here So we're going to go down the east coast with these units. I remember playing as China and I, yeah, went after India and it was such a long, like, we just did quite the, quite the fight. Well, what we're going to do is put a cut here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.